I always loved, enjoyed watching movies, um, different kinds of movies, not special as well. Uh, but I always enjoyed that. And when I was about 20 years old, um, I decided that I wanted to direct. At that time, I was studying economy. Uh, but I took my camera and I shot a web series that I then sent to Sakharov. And were the films that you were making as a web series similar to the style of film? Uh, no, not exactly. Mm. There are some reference from a web series from Tarantino, you know, uh, and that was I really liked before before the Sakura's workshop studio. And now I like different movies, you know, like New Wave, French New Wave, uh, Bresson, Rosette, uh, Visconti, that's kind of classic, you know. So going to the film school sort of uh, opened you up to, I guess, uh, art house cinema? In yeah, exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because um, it's more, it's more, it's more rich, uh, more rich. The film takes place in North Caucasia, and uh, this is my homeland. Um, and you don't see it anywhere in any films. And the story is based on real facts, which I found very interesting. So if you watch closely the structure of my film, you will notice that the kidnapping is really off the screen. You don't see it. And this uh, Jewish kid, you don't see any cruelty or anything that happens because the focus is really the family and the relationship. And this is also why I didn't want to um, uh, use this Jewish theme um, to, to use it too much because we all know their story. It wasn't the, the core. Well, first of all, I wanted you to see people that are the same as Europeans, Germans, French, etc. And though the, the beginning and the end of the film, when you see the city, I wanted the viewers to understand through these moments, these images, why the locals are so tough. Those visual effects were very important to me the colors used in the film because there is a real rhythm of the colors and well um, it can either join gather two characters or separate them depending on how you, you show it on the screen so uh, the hero Ilana she lives in a place that has those very warm colors and she's always wearing blue so I wanted to show the difference uh, between her and the place she lives in and the well so yes this really strong dynamic of colors that uh, sometimes increases sometimes decreases or that can be a stagnation but those colors reflect the personality of the character and about the format 4x3 uh, well it was really to give the feeling of closeness well, especially uh, since the heroes, the, the characters, really have to be physically much closer to each other. And it also brings um, another thing that I love in films a lot. It's that feeling of closeness, of almost feeling touching the other characters. That moment, that episode of the film, that scene, uh, is really static and I wanted the viewers uh, to feel not just death but uh, the death of the spirit of the soul, mental health. Okay. And that tape shows also the context um, and the territory where all of that takes place. Nalchik, you have to understand, is really a neighbor, it's very close to Chechnya, so the war could really happen anytime, and the characters have to live with that feeling, these thoughts. I was worried, kind of uh, afraid, 
to misunderstand something or misinterpret because of my age. But then I realized that age has nothing to do with it. It's just a number. Uh, because when and if you have something to say, um, your experience is enough. It has nothing to do with the age. Oh, <laughs> my